What is up guys, Elementix here and welcome back to another video and this video is about every single hidden blocks and items in Minecraft Pocket Edition or Better Edition. So let's get into this thing. So first of all, we got these items and these items, alright? So these items on this left chest are the blocks that you can find really easily. Alright, so let's start with the items in this chest, alright? So first of all, we got the sign and the wall sign. So if I were to place on a normal sign, the text prompt will show up. So I can put whatever text I want on the sign, but for this one, once I place the sign down, it just places down and it does not ask anything. So the next block we're going to be looking at is the redstone dust. All right? And, and when you hold it in your hand, it looks like a white sugar Wait, no, this looks like, oh, okay, this looks like a demonetization, oh, okay, okay, but yeah, when you hold it in your hand, it looks like white powder, but when you place it down, it becomes a normal redstone dust, just like this. Let's see if same thing applies to survival mode, I mean, why not, why would it not, yeah, just like this. So the next block is gonna be the tripwire, and when you hold it, it looks like dust. I don't know why, I don't know, but it looks like dust. And when you place him down, it looks something like this. This is pretty trippy. <laughs> the next block you're looking at is the pumpkin stem. And we're going to be needing a farmland block for this one. Farmland, there we go. And bam, bam, pumpkin stem and tile that melon stem that name. So once you place it down, it looks just like a normal small sapling a pumpkin stem and what is it the melon stem all right the next block is the polished blackstone brick double slab that's a really long name so there's a lot of blocks in minecraft that are actually um are double slabs but it's in a block configuration just like this double wooden slab so yeah these items do not exist in the inventory as you guys can see right here double yeah there's nothing and also there's this one tile blackstone double set name this is the polish of uh, blackstone and this is just normal blackstone but double step and let's see what happens if i were to break these blocks in survive mode and let's see all right so when you break it two slabs drops and probably the same with this one too just like this. So this is a daylight detector, but it is inverted and is in an item configuration. And yeah, this item cannot be found in the creative inventory. So when you place it down, it's inverted by default, just like this. But you can switch to the daylight sensor by just clicking it and switch it back again like that. This one is a wall banner and this is a normal banner. Not really normal because when you hold it in your hand, it's it's a wooden plate. It's literally a wooden plate. All right, and this is a wall banner, and it just destroys itself no matter what. Now let's move on to a little bit more, you know, more interesting blocks in Minecraft. So we're gonna be looking at the frosted ice. So this block is another hidden block in Minecraft, and this block only forms when you are walking on water with the ice walker enchantment. So once you place it down, it automatically starts breaking and then it turns into a water source block, just like this. Bam, all right? When you break it, nothing happens. But when you leave it like this, the water source block will appear and it will basically, you know, do its water thing. The next block we're gonna be looking at is the water source block, but it's a it's a still water, so it doesn't move. And lava block, just like this. But once you update it, yeah, it will start flowing and it will do its job. Like, bam, just like this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I have a question. Huh. Okay. Wow, okay. I just realized this. So as you see, there's literally a lava sitting in the middle of a tree, but it is not setting anything on fire. 
Wow. But once you update the block, I think you will start setting this in fire. Yep, just like this. Yep, 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 yep. That is really interesting. <laughs> wow, okay. Now let's see if it's same for the fire. So this fire and soul fire block. Not in a flint and steel form, but an actual block form. So you cannot place some soul fire on anything except for soul sand and soul soil. So let's see, let's go ahead and get myself a soul soil or sand, either one. No, wait, no, there's a, no. That was a block that I didn't review. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing as this one, but except it's called tile info update that name without the number two. Bam. And let's see the fire. You can place it on anywhere, even on soul sand. Wait, let's see if it will turn into a soul fire. Okay, okay, okay. So it does turn into a soul fire. So now let's see if it is the same for the fire. You know, just like lava. No? Let's see. Okay. For the fire, yeah. It will start the fire tick. Even though I did not update it. Okay, this is a little bit different than the lava. But yeah. That was a really interesting find. I did not realize it. And yeah, look at this. This lava has been sitting here for at least like 24 hours and it's still not setting anything on fire. Bam. And let's see. Bam. Just like this. Cool, 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 cool. All right, now let's look at the reserved six block with the info update block. So there's two info update blocks. There is one, the so info update one, and there's info update two. All right? And there's a reserved six. And here's an interesting thing. So game mode zero. So, so the info update block, you know, it takes a while to break, just like dirt. But the reserved six block breaks instantaneously. Just like this. Bam 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 bam. Just like TNTs in Minecraft. So I believe the reserved six block used to be the fire block back in like 0 0.3 0 0.2 something like that i'm not really sure but this block has a little bit of history behind it all right so next block we're double looking at is the portal block it's in like a cuboid shape pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool i like it i like it i like it all right and yeah these things actually work and once you are in the nether and go back to the overworld so i went through here and i came back right here so let's look at the next blocks in Minecraft and that's gotta be this, 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 and this one. All right, cool. So let's look at this one, the bubble column name. So when you try to place it down, nothing will happen. Well, actually something will happen if you place it down on the lava. However, if you place it down under water, something different will happen. So once you place it down, it will drag the player towards the block. I'm not touching anything. I swear I'm not touching anything. So yeah, it kind of plays around with the player, just like this. Now let's look at the next block, and that's going to be the nether reactor core and this one. So these two kind of go together. So before the nether update in 1.12, I believe, if you want to go to the nether, you could go to a fake nether which was added in 0.5.0. So to go to the fake nether, you gotta be making something like this. So bam, 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 gold blocks. You're gonna need four gold blocks and then bam, and four more and five more right here. Like this, this, and this. And once you click this one, like this it used to make something like this and you'll be able to fight zombie pigments and everything the items will drop you know items will like basically appear out of you know nowhere and yeah you could get like nether items in that thing and once you activate it this thingy will slowly turn into this glowing obsidian right i'm probably gonna be making a video of me activating this thing just for you know sake of nostalgic and I think the last blocks that turn into this glowing obsidian is the gold blocks. And once this thing is deactivated, it will turn into obsidian and this will turn into a dark version of this one. All right. So this is a normal obsidian. This is a glowing obsidian. And this is the crying obsidian. 
the textures on these blocks look all different. I don't know why. So this obsidian used to be the old obsidian texture. So I believe this texture used to be the same as this one, but there was a texture update, so it kind of changed this texture. All right, cool. So the next block you're looking at is the ender portal. And when you place it down, it looks like this. It's a normal ender portal. It's like this. And this is a piston armor collusion. And this block forms whenever you activate a piston. So this is kind of like a glitched block. The next one is a moving block. Same as this one. And this is a stone cutter. And this used to be the old school stone cutter back in the days. It looks so different. <laughs> the new one looks way better. And also you can, you know, make some... Kind of like a torture machine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. All right, all right, all right, all right. So watch this. All right. This and yeah, this is a special chair for people who I don't like. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool. So the next item we get looking at is the camera item. And yeah, I really like this thing. So you can place it down like this, and once you click it, it will follow you. I mean, it will not follow you, but it will at least look at you. And it will explode, and once it explodes, it takes a picture of you, and it saves somewhere in the game file. Alright, bam. And you can also take a selfie, just like this. Not really a selfie, but you could die, yeah. So once I hold the mouse, it looks like this, and when you let go, it takes a picture. All right, bam, you can take a selfie just like this. All right, the next block is going to be the invisible bedrock. This is a really interesting block. So once you place it down, it looks something like this, you know? It's literally an invisible bedrock. There's no way you can see it. There's no way. There's no way you can actually tell there's an invisible bedrock here. And when you try to uh, break the block, the block behind it will break. So there's absolutely no way of telling there's an invisible bedrock here unless until you actually go to the place, like physically go to the place, right? Just like this. There's no way you can tell. And you cannot even place the block on top of it. Just like this. There's no way. Except set block. Bam, 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 air then it will destroy the invisible bedrock, just like that. All right, so the last block we're gonna be looking at is the end gateway block. And once you place it down, it looks like this, right? This blue beam will emit from this block. But when you try to go in here, nothing will happen. The texture is cool and all, but you know, nothing really happens. However, once you go, in the nether dingus once you go in the ender I don't know alright let's go to, let's try to go to the ender then something interesting will happen so in the ender this block actually works so bam and it will teleport you into the coordinate of zero 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 so yeah this is a coordinate of zero 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 and yep alright lastly there's actually more hidden blocks and items in Minecraft than you know. So if you want to know more, then check out this video out. So yeah, that was it for today's video guys. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.